Hey there, welcome to Emerging Brands Podcast. I'm Neil DiPantino, the president of Titan Media Works. I'm sitting in for Cash Miller today, who's off doing something else. God only knows what. We have no idea where he's at. We put out the uh, search party for him. We'll find him sooner or later. I'm sure we'll have him back for the next show. But that's not even important because right now what is important is our next guest because we have a wonderful guest for you. We're really super excited. Uh, she is the president of Pevolve. She's uh, responsible for spearheading the brand's overall vision. Uh, please welcome to the show, president of Pevolve, Julie Cartwright. Julie, welcome to the show. Pleasure to have you. Thanks. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. Now, where are you located at? I actually live in Chicago, downtown oh, Chicago. You know, I hear it's a yeah, that's where, town. Yeah, that, that's where our franchise offices are. We've got our corporate offices in New York, and then our franchise offices are here in Chicago. Well, fantastic. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on the show today. We're going to talk a lot about uh, P-Volve and what that is and what it's, what's all involved with it, the franchising opportunities, the whole nine yards. We want to find out the whole, the, the nitty gritty on, on, on the whole thing here in just a second. But before we do that, always nice to kind of get to know who we're talking with. Can you tell us a little bit about Julie Cartwright? Yeah, sure. I mean, I spent my first 18 years of my career really in home entertainment. So think, uh, this is going to really date me, but think VHS, DVD, and then digital. And everything from theatrical movies to movies, and I would um, you know, package them, market them, and then sell them to big box retail. But really, as, as my passion would have it, I also was the general manager of our fitness division. So we actually produced content for major fitness talent like Billy Blanks, Leslie Sansone, um, Tracy Anderson, Jillian Michaels. And then we also produced proprietary brands as well and either packaged them with product or just put them out on DVD and then sold them to big box retail. So fitness has always been in my blood. And I, it's always been the reason that I, you know, jumped out of bed in the morning to um, to go to work. And so it, it sort of led me here to Pevolve eventually. Well, it's Do awesome. It sounds like, a, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm not sure if you wanted me to like talk about how I started at Pevolve, but I'll let you leave that. Oh, well, well, I appreciate that. I you know you can, t you, <laughs> Hey, you're, you're the, you're the guest. You can do whatever you want. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we we had this so. conversation before the show. This is your deal. You can do whatever you want. So, but well, <laughs> let's get into that actually. So uh, tell me what is Pevolve and tell us a little bit about uh, the name and tell us about how you got involved with that. Yeah, sure. Pevolve actually stands for functional movement and resistance-based training. And I think that the idea of functional movement and functional fitness has also has been like overused in the fitness industry. And really what we mean by using functional movement is that it's it actually mimics the like our moves that we do in class actually mimic your everyday movements, everything from picking up your kid to, uh, you know, walking around the block to getting out of your car to even balancing in wedge heels on on cobblestones. So it's really these these moves that really support your everyday um, movement, both today and, and in the future. So that's a really critical part as we sort of talk about the efficacy of, of really what it is that we're building. So that's what Pevolve stands for. That's actually the method. Um, Pevolve itself, the, the word stands for um, personal evolution. We're all on an evolution. We need different things throughout our lives. I needed something different when I was in my 20s to when I was um, pregnant with my kids to afterwards to now being in menopause. So we we definitely go through an evolution. And I we feel that your fitness should be able to adapt at, at every stage of your life. So that is what um, Pevolve actually stands for. And then how I got involved was I actually was in home entertainment. I was at my company for about 18 years, and I heard about a founder, Rachel Katzman, who's the founder of Pevolve. And she was young, she was 23 years old, and she had a concept that she felt had changed her life. And she really needed somebody with a bit more experience to sort of bring it to life. And I was busy and I was happy and I was saying, no, no, no. And she does not take no for an answer. And a fateful day in January of 2017, she sat across from me. She flew in to meet with me. Um, I think I had just gotten off a red eye. I mean, this this story is so, it's so dreamlike, but I remember it like it was yesterday. 
and she just told me her story and her story just in a nutshell was was really that she had been bouncing from boutique fitness location to boutique fitness location in New York and she was really after looking a certain way lifted lifted butt toned thighs a really strong core she wanted to look a particular way but she wasn't putting any emphasis on the way that she felt and she was kind of powering through pain she always had back pain she was lacking energy but she also wasn't getting the physical results that she wanted she was introduced to functional movement and this light bulb went off that oh my gosh i should put as much emphasis in how i feel as to how i look and she did she got that lifted butt she got that you know really strong core the the sculpted arms but more importantly her lower back pain that she had been experiencing was going away she was waking up with more energy and she actually looked forward to working out and she was diagnosed with scoliosis and she really realized that i've got to bring this to more people worldwide and that was a story i just couldn't say no to and i said you know what i'm not leaving my job but i will absolutely help you to start this and um that was the beginning of of pvolve we later named it pvolve and um and we launched the company in november of that same year well that sounds like a fantastic story i was looking at the website and uh checked out a few of the videos uh, of some of the workouts and uh they are unlike anything that i've really ever seen and uh you know that i've ever experienced so i thought man this is really super interesting i'm sure that you know and, and we always look for things that differentiate ourselves from other businesses you know and what you know our signature thing is and you guys have got it going on with all these wonderful gadgets that you have in the studios the online stuff so it's really, really a cool business model. Um, so here recently in 2023, you added a new, I guess, part partner to the business. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about that? Oh my gosh, that is what dreams are made of. I'm for sure. Uh, Jennifer Aniston joined the company in June of 2023. And really, it was the most exciting thing. Really, we couldn't have even dreamed that big. But she had been a secret streamer for about a year um, and we were personally training her probably for like a couple of months and her team called us in august of 2023 and said you know have you ever considered having somebody like jennifer aniston join the company and you know i think i tried to play it cool i'm just like um yeah i mean we've considered it um but really i was yeah. just like jumping for joy inside and and I think the the bigger story here is is that you know certainly with a lot of hard work luck can sometimes help you along the way but the reason that she wanted to join the company and she's such an authentic brand ambassador for the few companies that she is actually the face of and the the thing is is that it's because the product worked it's because this method really did change her entire perception of what fitness should be in her life. And that's because of really how we've built it. We've built it just to kind of go back for a second and what you just said, I think it's so important. And that is just to have a differentiation. I think that we've known since 2017 that this is a that fitness is a very crowded market and that you really have to differentiate. And I think there's several things that we did to really build out that sort of moat of distinction. Number one being, yes, our gadgets, our, our resistance-based equipment, those are like patented pieces of equipment. Uh, we've got multiple patents on um, three pieces of equipment, the P-Band, the P-Ball, and the P3. And then also, in addition to us having patented equipment that you don't really see anywhere else, it's a really a new to market method. Um, you're not really seeing us just like put rap music to a, another method or or having you know a different type of training. It's it's really an entirely different philosophy. And you know we knew that we were getting very different results than just oh yeah I'm, I'm getting such great physical results. It was really these meaningful testimonials from our member base that made us lean in even further to the efficacy. We got doctors on our board. Um, we have four doctors that sit on our board that work with our highly certified trainers. And then we actually got into clinical studies. So that was my long winded way of saying, yes, we are so lucky. We're so honored to have Jennifer a part of the company. But really, honestly, the way that we attracted her is that at the heart of it, we've got a product that really delivers something 
that you can't get elsewhere. And I, I think that's what I think we're most proud of um, here at Pevolve. You know, it's interesting. I So as, as I was reading through uh, the website and uh, the story about uh, Rachel and the story about Jennifer, both of them had something in common is that they had, uh, you know, pain in certain areas. They had the scoliosis. And I think Jennifer Aniston said she had some back, lower back pains or something like she was dealing with and everything. So your, I, I, I guess, you know, a lot of workouts you know, deal with pain, like no pain, no gain. Yeah. But really, yeah. kind of what you're doing is you're looking for range of motion. You're looking for that, uh, you know, really more of a pain, no pain, no gain, or pain, no pain for gain, something like that. Would that be yeah. correct? Yeah, we, we we often say you should not break your body. Um, like, and and really, we don't want you to experience any pain. And and oftentimes, we can really help you to alleviate that pain. I think that the the best way to sort of articulate that is, is that we actually got into a clinical study in 2019 and it was really about chronic lower back pain. More than 50 million Americans like experience this chronic lower back pain. It can be debilitating. It can definitely take away your quality of life. And we got in a clinical study at the University of Minnesota and we were able to really prove out that by practicing PVOLV, and that's the functional movements, and our, with our P-ball, the, the resistance-based equipment, that we could significantly reduce your chronic lower back pain. So pain is a part of basically most people's lives in some capacity. In Rachel's case, it was scoliosis, but in, in Jen's case, it was, you know, a, a hip pain and back pain, and she didn't want to sit on the sidelines. And so by moving your body the right way, by by working with your bodies over, you know, overall like mechanics, you can actually help to alleviate pain. Um, and so we definitely do not think you need to, um, you know, break your body to break a sweat. You know, it's interesting in the old days, they would have you lay in bed, uh, you know, they, no movement, isolate this, isolate that. And now really that's not true anymore. I mean, it probably was never true, but now it's all about movement. And, and I love the proprietary uh, gadgets, that, uh, gadgets for lack of a better word that you have that you use yeah. in, in your workouts. I'm, I'm watching this going like, holy mackerel, that's incredible. I mean, yeah. I don't know if I could do any of those things. <laughs> It'd wear me out. You, you, you can't, it's deceivingly much more um, intense than it looks. I think that's part of the perception that we try and break is, is that like, no, I'm really into hit. That's not going to, you know, burn enough calories for me. I'm not going to get the results that I want. And I said, just, just, just try us. Come in yeah. for one class. Everyone always walks out and goes, oh my gosh, I was sweating so much because you're really, you're really isolating these muscles that are um, sometimes dormant in your body. And those are muscles that need to be activated in order to protect your joints. So um, don't worry, you can do it, I promise. All right, well, I'm gonna give it a try because you just opened a uh, studio here in Nashville where I'm located down in the Gulch. And that's, uh, what a wonderful area that is. I think it's gonna be a wonderful location for you. Oh my gosh, we've got quite a few that are going to pop up by you. We've also got Franklin, we've got Brentwood. Um, we've awarded about 45 overall franchise locations and we've got five open, but there's going to be 35 more opening uh, this year. So uh, we're, we're, we're busy over here, that's for sure. Yeah, and still tons and tons of opportunity for anybody who's looking to invest or the right person who's looking to invest. Now, let's let's get into that a little bit. Let's talk about the franchise opportunities. So tell us about what your franchise uh, opportunities look like for a client, for a uh, guest, for our hope. Yeah. For somebody who's listening to this thing. <laughs> I'm losing it over here. <laughs> well, I think it's a pretty amazing opportunity, if, if I can say. Um, it really is because I think that, number one, we offer something that's differentiated, that doesn't have a, a ton of um, uh, replicatable, like, uh, competition. You know, it's, it's not like we're just opening up another yoga studio. It's incredibly relevant and, and certainly proprietary. Um, you know, we're really looking, I think, like an ideal persona of, of an owner is, and, and I've heard this asked before on podcasts to other franchisors, and I've sort of like learned um, over the past two years, but I, we definitely want somebody with passion. And 
And I don't say that lightly. Like we are building an overall method. We're not just building, you know, a, a franchise concept. We're we're building a method that we really want to expand globally, and we want to stand for excellence in functional fitness. So um, we certainly look for passion, but we also look for. Uh, somebody who's got real business sense, a real operational background, um, and and really is ready for hard work. Because to be an entrepreneur, you have to be able to put that hard work in. And we've been really lucky to find just that. So we offer a, an omni channel, which I think is another um, really added value for the franchisee. And that is that any studio member that's unlimited in our studio system gets full access to our on-demand thousands of workouts. And that is actually something that our franchisees have found to be extremely valuable for two reasons. Number one is when they do pop up their brand new um, studio in, let's say, Nashville and the Gulch, there's already a density of um, members that are sort of like waiting because there are digital members and they're waiting to sort of be converted to in-studio members and they can still get access, but they become the franchisee's member. So it's mm -hmm. it's really nice in that regard. And then also the members that weren't maybe previously digital members, they're coming in and becoming studio members first, but they're able to also take that exact practice when they're traveling, um, when there's four feet of snow, which I heard you guys got hit with snow recently, which is oh, bizarre. Man. Yeah. And so you can keep your practice going and that really adds to retention and engagement. And so we're a complete omni-channel um, offering, which is awesome, proprietary product. And, you know, we really don't have anybody that can um, replicate what it is that we offer right now. So it's, it's, it's a fun opportunity. That's for sure. What, so when you're building out a new studio, what, what are you looking for? What are the demographics? What kind of neighborhoods are you looking for? That type of thing. Yeah. So most of our locations are in um, more of like an urban setting. Uh, so we've got um, just to kind of like name a few, we've got La Jolla, we've got Carlsbad, Nashville, Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin, Upper East Side. We've even got some locations that are extremely successful in Canada, uh, in Victoria and, um, and also Calgary. I think that when we look at the density of population, we're really looking for um, you know, uh, women that are actively inclined that are 30 plus. And, and I say women, um, we absolutely have men that are members of all of our studios, uh, but we certainly do have a larger population of women, significantly larger population of women that are going to our studios. So that's really what, what we're looking for. Obviously great parking, um, you know, good, uh, visibility, um, and, you know, anywhere from 1,800 square feet to 2,400 square feet. What kind of household income are you looking at? We're looking at, you know, really about um, $100,000 plus um, household income. Um, and we've been successful so far in, in sort of like the locations that we've selected. Yeah, looking at some of the locations that you have, um, that you show on this site. I mean, they're, they're like, they look like phenomenal. I mean, just very beautiful, you know, spa style, um, you know, uh, uh, studios, not, not like you, know, you would expect like to go to a gym and, you know, you've got a bunch of guys walking around with their sleeves cut off that type of thing. I mean, these are really beautiful locations. This is, a, these are the kind of places you'd like to hang out, all day, hang out all day. Yeah. The experience is the most memorable part. It really is. I mean, getting into that studio and meeting our instructors and just really seeing their different training style, because it's really about um, it's 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 a lot of education about how you should move your body. And that's what our members really appreciate because they can take those learnings in, into their every day. But we definitely want a memorable experience from an aesthetic standpoint, too. The, the, the studios are just gorgeous. They've got really specialized lighting. Um, a really great, um, you know, beauty bar for you to like hang out after class and really connect with other members. It's, it's, I definitely may be biased, but it's, it stands out among the competition for sure. Absolutely. And so part of the support that you offer is helping with site selection and helping with the design and construction. Can you maybe elaborate on that a little bit? 
Oh yeah. I mean, I, I would, I would tell you that that's probably one of our superpowers is the support that we provide because again, we have an infrastructure because we're also a, an on-demand digital subscription and we sell proprietary product globally um, through, you know, our 3PL. Um, so we've got a nice infrastructure, uh, you know, of, of team members and experts. And so we offer everything from, you know, certainly helping with site selection, construction, build out, um, value engineering to pre-sell. Pre-sell is an incredibly important part of, you know, really setting the, the, the studio up for success, uh, marketing, um, social channels, selling, um, uh, opening retention, uh, promotions. I mean, all of those things, we really want to have a really consistent brand, you know, as we open up all of these locations in really top markets. So I think that when you talk to our franchise owners, I am absolutely 100% confident that you're going to hear that, whoa, the support that they give is, is like unbelievable, like unparalleled. Well, that's fantastic. So uh, as far as like being... Um you know, a, a candidate to be awarded one of your uh, studios or one of your franchises, what are, what's the criteria for that? Yeah, so you have to have, um, and, and you know what, you could actually go to pvolvefranchise.com and it has all of the criteria there um, in terms of, um, you know, your your net wealth and how much it's going to, to really cost in order to like open um, one up. I will tell you that I'm not sure I'm even supposed to say this, but I'm very transparent, and and that is that we we're actually working right now on even reducing some of our costs down to create more accessibility, and that's through you know perhaps smaller footprints um, that we're opening up, and then and then tightening our unit economics too. So it's it it can change, and so I recommend you definitely check out pballfranchise.com for the latest on on that criteria. Well, sounds great. Look, we're getting very close to, to the end of our time together. Any final thoughts you'd like to leave our audience with? No, I, I mean, I guess I guess the, the biggest thing that's just been recently announced is I, I think that functional movement is, is here to stay. It really is. And I think that everything that you're seeing in the health and wellness space right now is about longevity. People are living longer than they ever have and they want to live better. And our clinical studies are really showing that we can help you to really live that life longer and, and better. Um, and that's through strength and that's through energy and that's through injury prevention. Um, so I, I just, I, I urge you to sort of check that out because even if it's maybe not a franchise that you want to open, um, I certainly feel like we could really impact your life in a real positive way. Um, by checking out Pvolve. All right, sounds great. And again, that website is pvolve.com. P v o l v e dot com. Fantastic. Well, listen, you've been a wonderful guest. A lot of information. Pvolve sounds like a great opportunity for those who are looking to get into the franchise world. So, thanks again for being with us today. I sure, certainly appreciate that. Loved meeting you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, hey, that's our show for today. Thank you very much for joining us. The Emerging Brands Podcast is sponsored by Titan Media Works. Check us out at titanmediaworks.com. Works is spelled W-O-R-X. And also check out all of our other great hosts at the Small Business Delivered Network at smallbusinessdelivered.com. Until next time, thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.